Uh, eight seconds left. Let's go with a, um, uh, let's see. It's nice spear. Let's go with some bats. Let's go with a tornado. And guys, we're going to be sneaking away with a victory. Hey guys, it's right here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, we are of course pushing on ladder with the 2.9 motorcycle deck. And guys, we're just going to be trying to push up to 5,200 trophies and above with this deck. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead, hop right into a battle and show you guys exactly how I play this deck. Alright, so looks like this first battle is going to be against Clement from the Clan Reborn. Good luck to him. And starting off this match, we're just going to go ahead and kind of wait and see. Uh, this guy is going to start off making a move and if he's not okay looks like he will so we're just gonna go ahead and split our spear goblins exactly like he split his goblin gang all right so now okay it's gonna be a oh no i don't like this matchup anymore <laughs> um let's say it's gonna be maybe giant three musketeers because giant is generally not seen with goblin gang and that really is the only variation so anyways here uh as with any giant matchup i'll go ahead and play that uh mortar right there and looks like it will be that three musketeer variation variation so anyways here oh no this is actually gonna be kind of annoying right here we're gonna go with a knight to try and pull this stuff let's go with spear goblins to take out those minions and then we can go ahead and just tornado everything to that king's tower followed up with a nice spirit to go ahead and freeze everything let's go ahead and follow up with some bats as well oh my god we're actually taking so much damage onto our towers the towers already down to 1577 that is not a good start at all but looks like he's gonna pump up so we're gonna go in really aggressive with our mortar go ahead and get our log ready for his goblin gang play as soon as he plays there it is come on go 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 and looks like that log is going down and and I got minimal damage. Let's go spear guns for his bats. Nope, looks like he's gonna be a battle ramble. We're just gonna go with ice spears to go ahead and take that out. And the mortar is actually going to do a ton of damage right there, taking that tower down to 2282 hit points. So, you know, not exactly the best push, but hey, you know what? That's perfectly fine. He only has about a 700 damage lead on us. And here, uh, I'm interested to see what he's going to try and do right here. And, uh, okay, no, he's just going to go ahead and cycle his a couple cards right here. So we're just going to go right in right here with a knight and a mortar and some bats right here as soon as he pumps up because he's definitely low on elixir. And looks like this is going to be a really, really massive connection, guys. Let's go get a lot right there honestly the log was a uh, pretty big of a waste right there um and here let's actually go a uh, night night will actually get a hit onto that elixir collector let's go guys and guys as we head into double elixir time guys all we need to do is defend hold on to our tower for the next minute and we will be just fine so anyways here let's go in with a knight let's go in with our mortar right here and we're gonna go ahead and nato our three musketeers into one single lane and uh let's see here okay all right um oh god let's go ahead and log out the musketeers let's go ahead and get an ice spear and spear goblins and a knight right there on the uh on the right right there uh let's go ahead right there and uh oh giant's gonna get a massive connection right there but we should be fine we're gonna go ahead and split our damage really effectively let's go with a mortar again and uh guys 26 seconds left can we hold on to one of our towers so let's go in right here with an ice spear predicting his three musketeers there's the three musketeers let's go get a rocket in and a tornado onto those musketeers take those things out as soon as we can we do miss one of them but we should be just fine 13 seconds left let's go in with some spear goms in the center let's go with a knight in the center to distract let's go in right here uh eight seconds left. let's go with a th um uh let's see it's nice spear. let's go with some bats let's go with a tornado and guys we're gonna be sneaking away with a victory against one of the hardest possible matchups let's go guys we're always really happy to grab a win against that classic giant three musketeer deck all right guys so let's go and hop right into another battle and see who we are up against looks like we're going to be against a player from the clan Sa Arabic. Good luck to him. And starting off this match, we do have the tornado in our starting hand. So we're just gonna kinda wait, see what this guy's going to do. And if he doesn't make the first move, obviously we'll just cycle something. So anyways here, he's gonna go in with a royal ghost and um I think we're just going to go ahead kind of chill out right here and try and get a King's Tower activation with our Ice Spear and our Tornado. So let's go ahead and play our Ice Spear right there. Let's go ahead and play a Tornado onto that King's Tower and then we'll go ahead and get a nice activation. Here's going to go ahead and play a Battle Ram. So it looks like we're going to be against some kind of Bridge Bam deck. So it looks like it's definitely going to be Bridge Bam. So let's go with our Mortar. Let's go with our Knight to go ahead and distract all of his uh, stuff right there. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and take out that push really, really effectively. And we can go ahead and follow up with just some Spear Golems to try and 
you know, maybe get some little chip damage onto the tower. Looks like he's not going to let that happen. And, uh, wow, this is actually kind of bad right here. We don't really have too much. Let's go in with some bats and an ice spear right there. And, um, I think we're just going to go ahead and take one rogue ghost hit and then nato it to the king's tower again. So, uh, not exactly the best start right there. We didn't exactly have a great answer for his royal ghost. Uh, but anyways here, we're just going to keep rinsing and repeating. That previous defense worked just fine. We'll just do the exact same thing. So, here, let's go with a knight and follow up with some spear goblins too to go ahead and try and take out all this stuff right there and here let's go in with an ice spear oh no that painted actually dashed onto the tower guys that's oh that's not good at all our tower is down to 2763 and as we head into the second half of this battle yeah, things aren't looking pretty good and bridge spam isn't exactly the best matchup either so you know maybe we can get a little comeback but oh, this is this is definitely going to be an uphill battle so anyways here we're getting close to double extra time let's just go with some bats right here again i have a knight out of cycle so um i think i'm just gonna go with an offensive mortar right there and follow up with a knight and then go ahead and lock out the stuff right there just so that the mortar will go ahead and get a lock onto the tower let's go guys that's any lock is really really nice right there mortar will get two hits onto the tower taking that thing down 29 24 so uh we're actually right back into the game now uh we he's only got like a 200 damage lead and we'll go ahead and rocket out the electro wizard right there obviously getting any kind of chip damage we can it looks like it's, he's, it's gonna be a pekka bridge pan variation so um yeah let's once again go with our defensive mortar let's go ahead and go in with uh, a nato and an ice spear combination to go ahead and freeze uh, everything and take out those minions and then we can go with spear goblins to go ahead and distract that pekka some more let's go with a knight and bats to take out that bandit and um yeah look at that really clean defense actually and we can also follow up with a mortar as soon as that electro wizard goes down so let's go send in a mortar let's go with a log to take finish off that electro wizard and guys the mortar is actually locked onto the tower and um he's not gonna play anything um has this guy just given up? I think he's actually given up just because we got a couple of mortar locks. So let's go. We're going to be sneaking away with a victory against a super duper difficult matchup. So GG right there. And look at that. Just beating two insanely difficult matchups back to back. So guys, let's go ahead and hop right into a third battle. And, um, you know, try and grab another victory and push up to about 55, 50, uh, 52, 50 trophies. So, it looks like this last battle is going to be against a Japanese player right here. Good luck to him. And starting off this match, not exactly the best starting hand, but hey, you know what? It's not the worst either. Uh, so, here, we're going to go ahead and kind of wait, see if this guy does make the first move. And if he doesn't, then we're just going to go ahead and plop an Ice Spirit right at the bridge. So let's go in with the Ice Spirit, see exactly what this guy is using. And uh, he's just going to let that connect. So let's go in with a log as well. And uh, let's see, still not playing anything. So let's just go with a knight in the back. I mean, we're just going to keep cycling cards in the back until he makes a move. Uh, so, okay, let's see here. He's not doing anything yet. So, okay, Ice Wizard. Ooh, that's going to be really interesting. Let's actually go with a mortar opposite lane and see exactly what this guy is using. Looks like he's going to have some fire spirits. So let's go with spear goblins. Try and finish some of those off at Expo. Oh, man. Oh, wow. The mortar actually gets a lock onto the tower. Let's go, guys. And um, that's going to be two hits, taking that tower down to 29, 28. And here, Ice Spear will go ahead and freeze that Ice Wizard right there. And um, let's see, let's go ahead and cycle that log on the right. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of rinse and repeat, get a knight in the back. And ooh, that's really tempting. I really want to rocket that Valkyrie right there. Uh, we're not going to do it. All right, we're going to play it safe because obviously if we did rocket that, we wouldn't have a rocket for the expo. And we just get screwed over in here. Oh, that's a really nice tornado. That, that really hurt. Um, but anyways here, as soon as that expo goes down and as soon as that Valkyrie goes down, we're just going to kind of go in with another mortar right there. Uh, unfortunately, Valkyrie does get a hit onto our... St oh, wow. He's got a Tesla. I thought he was just using that ice with tornado rocket deck oh this is definitely gonna be really tough but here let's just go with a, uh, a nice spear and a rocket right there to go ahead and finish off that expo stop it from getting any hits onto the tower and um yeah there we go let's go ahead and quickly log out those fire spirits as well and as we head into double extra time we do have a relatively comfortable damage lead right here at about 700 800 hit points but uh, expo is a really difficult matchup for mortar cycle just because there's there's just really no way we can try and rocket cycle him out and he just has so many ways to distract my uh, my mortar so anyways here knight will go ahead and try and get some hits onto that ice wizard right there and um as you can see his fireball will just constantly be able to 
take out my mortar. His Tesla will constantly be able to take out my mortar. His Expo will constantly be able to tank for my mortar. And uh, anyways, here, let's just go ahead and try and get another lock right here. Cycling back to another mortar. Let's go with a knight and some bats right there. I'm trying to block that, but the no, the Tesla locks onto the mortar. Oh, that is so frustrating, guys. So um, here, let's just go in with uh, Spirit Goblins in the back. See if he's going to go in with an Expo. Uh, looks like he's not so we're just gonna go with the ice spear and a log let's go in with a knight as well to go ahead and take out that valkyrie and then okay let's just go into the rocket cycle i'm getting slightly impatient here and i don't think he's really gonna be able to break through uh so here let's go spear guns at the bridge try and get some chip damage onto the tower let's just keep on rinsing and repeating oh he even screws up his expo let's go guys um let's see here we're gonna definitely take advantage of this so let's go ahead and just straight up log and let's just go ahead and send in a rocket guys that is so so good for us we basically just got a free rocket on this guy's tower tower is down to 1064 and then we can just go ahead and put a knight down right there uh, he's starting a cycle to an expo so we're trying to try and rock it as soon as we can so now we're just one card away so yeah let's go ahead cycle our log and then we can just go ahead and rock it out that expo don't want to deal with it just get out of here and here honestly we can just uh log cycle his tower down to rocket range and that's gonna be gg right there so it's definitely gonna be a really long kind of grindy victory but hey you know what a win's a win and i will definitely take it so here let's just go with a mortar we're still gonna try and get a lock so here let's go with a knight um let's see here we're actually gonna catch that tesla right there so that's actually really good. Let's go with some bats. Let's see here. Uh, okay, looks like that mortar is not going to be locking onto the tower. Let's just go with an ice spirit. Let's go with a log. Let's go with a rocket onto the expo. The tower is down to uh, 860 hit points. So anyways, here, let's just go in. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's go in right here with some bats. A tank for those fire spirits. Let's go in with an ice spirit. Try and get some chip damage onto the tower. Let's go with a log once again. As you can see, we're basically just log cycling at this point. His tower is down to 758. That's just too long logs and a rocket guys so uh, let's go ahead and just rocket out that ice wizard expo push right there let's go ahead and get some bats down to take out that valkyrie ice spirit and we're back to another log so guys uh, his tower is just one rocket and one log away guys so let's just quickly try and cycle as fast as we can let's get a knight in the center to tank for the expo let's go ahead and send in the rocket the ice spirit connects that's going to be tower down gg beating another really difficult matchup which, which is expo gg right there and look at that that was a really, really solid ladder pushing session. Uh, as you can see right here uh, in our matchups, just wow. Beating a giant three musketeer deck, uh, a P.E.K.K.A deck, and an expo deck. So, um, yeah, really, really good video right there. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, it's been a pleasure to Ray, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.